Hey guys, this is the Comica Boom XD Mi2. It's a dual transmitter wireless microphone kit for iOS. You can see there's a lightning port there on the receiver. This can connect with iPhones or iPads. Let's go ahead, open this up and see how this sounds. So there you have the kit there on the top. I'll be taking some audio samples to showcase to you guys with just the microphones and also with the lavalier mics, both indoors and outdoors as well. So I'll cover that in a second. You also have yourself a user manual. Inside the first accessories box, you have two wind sleeves for each of the transmitters and you have a USB-C charging cable. In the second accessories box, you can see there's a reset pin there on the top. Inside, you have a set of two wired lavalier mics. So I will be testing with the mic and I will be testing with the wind sleeve outdoors as well. So let's go ahead and cover the capabilities of this set. So you have two transmitters to one lightning receiver. You have the A and B channels which correlate to the two microphone transmitters there. You can also adjust the volumes by the plus and the minus buttons there on the receiver itself. At the bottom, you can see there's a headphone port so you can monitor the audio as well. So the person recording the video from the iPhone or iPad can monitor the audio levels and adjust accordingly using these buttons. On the transmitters themselves, you can see there's the mic input there. This is the clip for the lavalier mic. You can see it's a very solid clip there as well so it wouldn't move around. You've got yourself the internal microphone, a belt clip which can double up as a cold shoe mount. You have the power on button there, you just hold it down for a few seconds. This also doubles up as the mute button. And if you wanted to pair it for whatever reason the pairing is lost, then you can hold this down and it will search for the receiver. So it comes paired by default in the box. Both of these are same and they're both charged via USB-C, you can see on the side. And they give you a very long battery life of up to five hours, which I think is amazing. Now this automatic channel frequency adjustment for smooth wireless audio transmission in each of these transmitters, and it has a low latency of less than 20 milliseconds. It works roughly up to 30 meters in distance, but I think I can really push that to about 50 meters. But let's go ahead and now test out the audio to see how they sound. So guys, in comparison, I'm currently recording this audio using a Sennheiser shotgun microphone. This one is just sitting on a boom stand above my head. What I'm going to do is switch over to start recording with my iPhone 12 Pro. I'll clip this microphone onto my shirt first without any lavalier mic and see the difference in the audio. So let's go ahead and do that switch now. Okay guys, I'm now using my iPhone 12 Pro to record this video and I'm also using this Comica mic to record the audio. So I have the receiver attached to my iPhone 12 Pro. It was very quick and easy. It lights up blue to indicate that it has a connection and it's paired with the microphone. So let me know what you guys think. I've just clipped this onto my shirt like this. I don't have anything else attached to it. I've taken a few sample videos already and I have played back the audio. I think it's just great. The convenience of having to just clip that into your iPhone 12, there's nothing else you need to set up. There's no settings you need to adjust. It just works out of the box. I think it's well worth the money just for that. It's so convenient. So anytime I do remote shooting now, then this is the perfect thing to have because the iPhone 12 Pro has very great video quality and I can just use that as my main camera if I'm going remotely to do any type of filming. So now the next test I want to do is clip on the lavalier mic to this microphone and see the difference in the audio. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so now the lavalier mic is on my shirt. I've clipped it to the microphone, which I've now attached to my belt clip. So it's very convenient to have. It's very lightweight as well. I think this is the ideal way to record the audio. When I use a lav mic, it's so much easier to be more flexible of where to position it rather than the actual microphone itself because it can be a little bit bulky. Overall, the audio is great. In comparison to a lot of the other microphones I've used in the past, I think this is quick to set up, it's lightweight, and the convenience of you having your phone with you at all times, having this lightweight microphone with you in your pocket as well, you have a whole filming kit at your disposal anytime, anywhere. So I think that's really convenient. The next test I want to do is just take this outdoors and just use the microphone on its own to see how much of the background noise, the ambience, the wind is captured in the microphone, and then use the wind sleeve to see how much noise isolation that provides as well to reduce wind noise and other background noises. So let's go ahead, step outside and see how that sounds. All right guys, so I'm standing about two and a half meters away from the camera right now. I've got the microphone clipped on here. I don't have the wind sleeve on there at the moment. So let me know what you guys think of the audio. It's very cold today. There's not a lot of wind today, but it is quite chilly and you can hear a lot of background noises. 
there's noises coming from the building in the background there's a road just on the other side there there's a bus going past now let me know how clear the audio is in just using the microphone without a lavalier mic so what i'm going to do next is put the wind sleeve on and you guys can tell me if there's a big difference in the noise isolation and the noise reduction so let's go ahead and do that okay so now the wind sleeve is on let me know what you guys think is there a massive change or is there just very tiny slight changes it's now starting to get a little bit windy you can see the leaves here moving a tiny bit so can you guys hear the wind is it completely isolated is it completely clear overall i think the convenience of setting this up with my iphone 12 pro or if you have any other iphone or even an ipad just clip it into place and it automatically works out of the box there's no other settings you need to make clip this on and you can start recording outdoors anywhere you like there's a perfectly long range in this as well so for the most part any type of videos you want to record it will do a great job so let me know what you guys thought of that outdoor audio so now let's take it back indoors and finish off all right guys so that was the video hopefully you found those tests useful this comes in at 225 pounds on amazon i'll leave a link down below where you guys can check it out if you do have an iphone 12 pro and you want the best audio maybe you're starting off making youtube videos maybe you want to have conversations and interviews with other people so there's two of you this is the perfect kit that you need. So even if you're just a beginner, or even if you're intermediate, or even if you're the most advanced filmmaker, this will do an excellent job. The fact that you have two transmitters as well, you can do dual audio and have conversations with other people. Go out, be flexible, it's very compact. Put it in your camera bag like I'm going to. This is the perfect thing. So if there's anything else you guys wanna know about this specifically, let me know down below. I'm currently using the audio from this microphone as well. And if you did like this review, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do plenty of microphone reviews for camera equipment, for your phones, and I'm going to have plenty more in the near future. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those ones. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.